all right what's up everybody welcome to simon says right and look who's in town uh, i know you guys been asking me dude where is the ktm here it is uh, i know that i mean a lot of you who uh, want me to make royal enfield content but there are some who still love the ktm and uh, i know you guys been asking me continuously like where is the ktm like okay so here it is let's do a vlog on the ktm and uh, let me see if i'm recording because my gopro my gopro is killing me man like uh i hardly get time to make videos and uh, over that i keep losing content man i missed this bike I really missed this bike. <laughs> All right, so the reason why I wasn't making any videos on the KTM is because, like, even though I have two bikes, I don't have both the bikes at the same time. Uh, the reason being, I mean, the one uh, one of the bike will always be with my brother, and one bike will be with me. And uh, me and my brother, we live in two different houses, so that's why I don't get to ride both the bikes. um it takes quite an effort to swap the bikes so i'm going to be having this bike for uh, some time now like um, royal enfield is pretty comfortable for me right now i'm not in a very good shape i'm not in a shape to ride this bike but still i kind of miss this bike a lot and i wanted to ride this bike very badly and you guys been asking me about this bike so yeah so here it is uh, i'm really sorry for not wearing gloves or anything it was uh, and i keep apologizing in every video but uh, i'm not finding time to buy a new pair of gloves uh, completely lost my old ones don't know where they are why is there so much traffic man it's like 5 o'clock 5 is it 5 oh it's 5:30 Saturday. Anyway, um, I really wanted you. I really wanted to talk to you guys about uh, uh, the new uh, Continental GT and the other one, which is that uh, Interceptor uh, 650s, uh, 650 twins, which are getting launched pretty soon. uh like i made a separate video on them but then i lost that content i mean that's really sad uh but anyway it gives me an opportunity to make it even better for you guys uh so yeah 650 twins man i'm really really very excited about it i'm not sure if you guys are following that on youtube uh i'm pretty sure if you are on facebook and youtube you must have uh, your youtube pages and facebook pages would have been flooded with uh, the 650 content because um, man those bikes are bikes are pretty exciting i mean uh, i'm i am really in love with the interceptor even though i kind of like the gt a bit bit more than the interceptor but i, I know the uh, uh, interceptor is kind of more practical uh the engine like i have not seen that bike i mean I, i'm dying to see those bikes uh, but i'm uh, watching the reviews and everything uh, reading reviews in blogs and uh, all that stuff i've just come to know that uh, those bikes are amazing i mean they have amazing ca capability so uh, i i think the refinement is amazing uh, engine is pretty amazing Oh, everything's amazing about that bike so i'm really excited i'm waiting for i mean at least get a look on the those bikes man i'm not sure if royal enfield is going to invite me to ride those bikes they have been kind enough to give me the himalayan when it got launched uh, the second version and also the thunderbird x uh, uh, pretty excited uh, i'm not sure if they will give me to give me those bikes to ride i am just hoping that they would <laughs> fingers crossed people from royal enfield if you're watching this is your clue anyway uh moving on uh seriously man i'm really excited 
about those bikes but there's one thing one thing which i kind of looking at all the videos is one thing which is kind of bothering me that is why i'm desperate to um, you know those bikes to get launched this is one thing one little thing uh, <laughs> i feel that the bikes are pretty small uh, i know i don't know man maybe it it is uh, only me or it's everybody who feels that way because i'm kind of huge uh, like i'm six foot tall and i'm pretty hefty too so um, I, i'm always been a fan of uh, bigger bikes like even when when i started riding motorcycles uh, the only thing you know which used to be my deciding factor uh, between two or three bikes which i would be confused about is probably the size like how big those bike would be and uh, would they um, kind of suit me because uh, that has always been a concern for me um, uh, like i it's not about the comfort I, I i'm no i know that there are smaller bikes too which are comfortable for huge guys but uh, the thing is i want uh, to really i mean get <sighs> when i sit on the bike i really want that bike to suit me or rather i would say i want myself to suit that bike now i cannot change my height <laughs> so i really want that the bike should be a bit bigger that's why i've always been a fan of royal enfield because uh, you know like when i kind of fell in love with motorcycles there the options which we had was royal enfield yamaha rx100 splendor those kind of bikes and royal enfield of course was the bigger one so always was a fan of uh, kind of bigger bikes uh, every time a bike used to get launched i always used to like curious about the size of the bike and uh, if the bike turns out to be a bit smaller as compared to other bikes i would really lose interest in them so i'm not sure that uh, how big those bikes are going to be but i'm really uh, really glad that royal enfield came up with uh, such beauties man i mean uh, uh, i think that's what everybody was waiting for like a twin uh, cylinder big capacity bike from royal enfield uh man and that uh, the retro touch with it still carries that is just amazing man i'm really excited i can't wait i just you know i just i was talking to about you guys i was you know i told you guys that i'm planning to go for a retro bike i was planning to buy a classic bike uh but then after looking at this launch i kind of changed my mind i feel that i should wait and uh, see how good these bikes are uh, like anyway i was going for the rd350 and uh, this bike kind of look uh, the same so i'm really excited about that so want to see how good these bikes are gonna be i love this bike man i seriously miss this bike uh, it was kind of becoming a bit tiring for me to ride this bike um uh, but then uh, <laughs> I, this bike is so amazing oh that's a nice view of the sun we always catch this view when i come on this road uh, it's pretty good nice Uh, all right guys so uh that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about uh, uh i'm trying my level best to get as many videos as i can out on there on youtube and uh, for you guys to enjoy i'm not sure when i will get time to go out for a ride because i know it's long with you it's been uh, I, i don't know man at least uh four months Uh, I feel like after I came from Goa I didn't really go anywhere for a proper ride and uh, I'm kind of missing that uh, really caught up with work a lot I uh, know I just make promises 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 about how I would uh, try to make more videos but then at the end of the day it is just work work and work Oh, 
hundred fifteen something like that. I'm sure it can go faster, but thanks to oh my god, where should I go? Oh, oh. thanks to this amazing roads. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, uh, this is your host Simon signing off. Until the next ride, be safe, ride safe. Bye bye. Hope to see you soon.